What's up guys, Coach Joe here at Garage De La Swole. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my rice bucket workout that is gonna increase your grip strength and your forearms and potentially crack an apple. Yeah. That's good. Let's get to it. Rice bucket training's been around for a long time and I wanted to start throwing it into my current grip training routine to see how it affects my finger strength, my grip strength, my forearms, and actually the size of my hands, like my finger width, my palm width, and my forearms in general. So it's great if you're looking for those strength benefits and also to rehab or take care of any injuries in the entire lower arm. So there's a lot of benefits from doing this. I actually measured both hands, and what I'm gonna do is compare my hand size six months from now, okay? So I think that's a good enough time. I know some people do one week and try to see any differences or maybe 30 days, but for me, I think it's gonna take several months uh, to actually see a difference by doing this consistently. So stay tuned for in six months if I have sausage fingers or not. And if you want sausage fingers, you better start doing this. So if you guys want some bigger pipes, I'm gonna show you how to get started and what the workout is now. Now I'm not gonna hold back any secrets from you, but I'm telling you, it may be hard to find this stuff. So what you're gonna need to do is find a bag of rice, preferably 20 to 25 pounds worth. Cheapest is fine, get whatever is the cheapest. And a five gallon bucket from your local hardware store. Now you can use sand as a substitute for rice. I think the sand is a little bit cheaper. However, I enjoy the rice because it's very easy to clean, doesn't get stuck to your hands like the sand does. I just use a blower if it gets on the ground in the garage gym, push it out. And I also just like the texture of it. So figure out what works best for you. So if you like sand, go for it. If you wanna try the rice, that's awesome too. I'm using rice for this video. So let's get right to the workout that I've been doing pretty much every other day. And typically I wake up, I do my morning cardio, I come right back and I get right to the rice bucket. You can do it whenever works best for you because at the end of the day, I just want you to be compliant with sticking with it. You could do it a couple days a week, you could do it every day. So find what frequency works best for you and isn't fatiguing you so much that it's taking away from your main workouts or the other grip training that you're doing. To start off, I typically recommend you do each exercise for about 30 seconds and do anywhere from two to three sets. As you progress, you can increase that duration from anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds and anywhere from three to five sets per exercise. The first one I like to start off just to warm up is just gonna be working the extensors. Typically, we're always doing the flexors with all of our grip training, so it's nice to work the antagonistic muscles of the extensors. So I'll just go right in here, and I'm just gonna start really light, just working those extensors. You guys will see videos on the side here showing exactly what I'm doing inside the bucket and I'll work that anywhere for, like I said, that 30 to 60 seconds for that uh, three to five sets. Once I'm warmed up, we're gonna do some clockwise knob turns. So I'm just putting my hand in like I'm twisting a knob. The first set for me usually is relatively easy. And then each set, I try to get deeper and go a little bit harder uh, with the movement. From there, I'm gonna work the same thing, but we're gonna go counterclockwise this time. Following that, we're gonna do what's called doom grip. So we're gonna put our hand in, we're gonna squeeze and grip as much rice as possible, and just keep repeating that. You actually wanna have a static hold when you do this, getting as much rice into your palm and squeezing with all your might. After that, we're gonna do what I call salmon swipe, and we're basically gonna make our hand like a wall, and we're gonna sit there, and we're just going to act like we're almost carving out a pumpkin or carving into fruit using our hand as a spoon almost. And then lastly, we're gonna do what I call cat paw, which is basically like doom grip. However, we're not adding that static squeeze and pause. Uh, we're just gonna go in there nice and gently and just work those flexors like we're pinching or we're grabbing something with the fingertips. So that's pretty much the workout, guys. It seems easy when you start, but after you go through a couple sets, you start to feel that pump in your hands and in your forearms. Kinda already see I got some vascularity going in the pipes here. So the more you do it, the more you're gonna feel it, and I just am really excited to see what happens down the road as I continue doing this. The entire workout takes about 10 to 15 minutes. 
Obviously you can scale on your ability, but the point is that it doesn't take a ton of time. We can all find 10 or 15 minutes throughout our day or even break it up throughout the day so that we can get this workout in and really work on increasing that grip strength and that size of the forearm. So if you enjoyed the workout, make sure you guys give it a like, check out the other grip videos that I've tagged throughout this video and subscribe to the channel if you found it interesting. Really appreciate it guys. There's more ways to support the channel monetarily down in the link in the description. And as always, stay a lean, mean strength health machine and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.